Today we're going to be tying a Mormon Cricut, inspired by Ken Burkholder. We'll begin by wrapping onto the thread of the hook, all the way down the shank, and then back up. This is a Matsu Big Eye, or a Big Dry Fly Hook, extra wide gap size 2. We're going to thread not quite all the way up the shank. We're going to use a strip of 3 millimeter black foam, about 8 inches long. We're going to secure the end of this to the shank and then wrap, roughly wrap over the top. Get a lot of wraps down. Foam has a way of sliding on a hook. We want to make sure we get it nice and secure. I'm going to double over the foam. The tab. We're going to secure that down. Bring our thread up to about the point of the hook. A few wraps to secure that down for a segmentation. Divide the remainder in half. Another wrap over the foam. And then finally up to the eye where we'll secure it. And again, we're going to double over the foam again. Make a little bit of a over wrap to the to the eye of the hook and secure that. And then we're just going to cross right over the back, even with where we had our segmentation on the first wrap forward. Secure that. Go back one more time. Secure that in place. One more wrap back and secure that down. And then we're going to fold it over again. At this time, you might want to use a little bit of Zappa Gap. This fly is a series of foam, rubber legs, and lots of glue. We'll zap that down. Make another series of wraps right over that same front of the segmentation. Cross over that foam underneath. Pinch down this extra, and then we're going to use rubber legs. This is a connected four strands of it, tied in a knot, and then you trim off three of the strands so you've got a small leg. You want that knot to get pretty much to the bend of the end of the foam there, and we're going to secure that leg to the side. Spin the vise over and then do the other side. Rotary, rotary vices help. If you don't have a rotary vice, it's not that big of a deal. We'll try on that other side. And then just trim off the excess amount of rubber legs close. You can leave it a little bit long just to make sure it's good and tight. We're gonna wrap forward. Cross over again, wrap forward, lay the foam down, secure that to the shank of the hook, get on that same spot of the segmentation, and we're going to fold that over one more time. You want that to overwrap, overlap the first, and let that sit back right on top of the shank of the hook, right on top of all that other foam and lots of wraps to secure it firmly. Set of rubber legs on your side. I like to go right in between those foam heads. That way you get an even, it's easier to get that, that leg situated. Don't flare too much. Same on the other side. Looks good. And then we're going to whip bash. Big wraps around so you don't grab the eye down. And so that secure off excess. Go back to the foam or the to the zappa gap. We're going to place. This, I like the brush on. Nice amount, generous amount of 
super glue there, a little tab on top to put down maybe a little indicator, orange indicator, our old eyes. It's nice to have that. I know it's a big fly, but bright days that black foam is a little bit hard to see at times. Dark days too. Tired eyes. And then we're going to go to the back and then just do a rough cut to angle it, etch it out. And then the final step will be putting a large amount of Zappa Gap super glue underneath to coat all of the thread. I like to just kind of jam it on top as well. Try to keep the zap or super glue away from the rubber legs. They have a tendency of kind of melting them a little bit, warping them. And that's your Mormon Cricket. Great bug when they're out and about. And I've seen it work effectively well when those insects are available. Good luck.